Hey, what's up, guys? It's Green Line here. Today, I'm back on some more meds. And today, we're gonna be checking out the latest update, which is a rather cool one because we finally have a new heist in game. It's been, I don't know how long, but we finally have a new heist in game. It's a pretty cool one. And we also have a new wallet system, which allows you to stack robberies and then you can cash in all the way up to 35k, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting as well. I'm going to show you guys that in the video. But, anyways, let's just jump right in. So, let's just escape prison over here because we do have to be a criminal to rob the heist obviously that makes sense but as you guys can see the map kind of looks different that's because of the new lighting that they did uh, I don't know what they changed exactly but the game doesn't look as colorful now I think they like the saturation has been toned down a little bit but it does look pretty cool the lighting as well we have the moon which is in game now uh, I believe this was it there previously it does look pretty cool but yeah the lighting in the game the game just feels different I don't know what it is but it feels great it feels different yeah kind of more realistic as well but something else that I've missed from the previous update that actually came out last week is the zipline right over here. There are plenty all around the map. As you guys can see, there's another one right over there. And you can actually jump and switch directions with it. You can also shoot uh, on the zipline and it has like a cool animation. As you guys can see, it like holds onto the zipline. It's pretty cool. This was actually in the game in chapter one. It was a feature, so they brought it back and it looks pretty cool. And guys, the truck just spawned right over there, so we have to check it out quick. But I do not have any weapons right now, so I'm just going to quickly hop in right over here, the gun shop. And I'm going to take out the M249 and the shotgun real quick. I haven't actually tested the truck with the M249, so I'm hoping that this gun is actually good with it. Because I don't have the time to fully explode the thing before it gets to its destination. And there it is right over here. It looks pretty cool. It's a like new truck. I will put up a picture on screen so you guys can have a better look at it. But it's kind of laggy right now. Let's shoot this thing. And the M249 is actually pretty good for it. I've already done 3k damage. And as you guys can see on the bottom of the screen, we have the new wallet system and how much damage actually did to the truck. So yeah, let's just continue shooting this thing. And I believe the best vehicle for this thing is actually the Night Rider. It spawns right over there. You can shoot while driving. It has like mounted turrets on it. So that's currently the best vehicle to use while uh, while shooting this thing. So yeah, I'm just going to continue shooting this thing. I've already have like 6k truck damage. So I've already collected the max for it. But if you actually continue shooting this thing, it will actually explode. And it will drop like cash pads on the ground. Which will allow you to drop a further 5,000 cash. So that's pretty cool. But I have to be pretty quick right now. Because if it reaches the harbor right over there, it will actually despawn. So let's see if I can destroy it before it reaches the hover come on come on come on m249 okay it's going to take forever i think it's going to despawn right over there right over here i mean and it despawned i did not manage to destroy it but when you do destroy it like there's a bunch of cash piles that's like drops out of, of the back of it and then you can basically go over there and it will allow you to collect a further 5k not more than that so like many people can come over there and pick up the cash so yeah, that's uh, so that you guys know, but the wallet system is right over here. I'm actually going to, just going to collect this right over here. Let's just go to the criminal base. So let's just drive it there. There we go. 6k out of the 5k and just, there you guys have it. And also the, the group bonus cash and the group bonus XP is for being in the group, the Shrift Studios group. That's why you get bonus. But I will quickly try and get 35k, fill up the wallet and I will see you guys once I can actually get that thing filled up so there we go guys i finally filled up my wallet it took like 10 minutes or so 10 to 15 minutes it might take you to fill it up but let's just drive right in and 35k there we go and okay it is a pretty long list so cargo ship plane truck damage truck damage again i think i did it twice yes we have the xp first then we have the cash then we have the group bonus 3500 but i made 38500 in total which is pretty cool but if you do have the vip game pass i believe you get like 73,500 or something crazy like that if you have the VIP game pass and same can be said for the double XP game pass you will basically get double the amount of XP but I did actually make quite a bit of good money in just 10 minutes so if I want to repeat this like six times I would make around 200 to 240k so yeah that's pretty cool to know so this new wallet system is actually pretty interesting. I do really like it. It's going to make grinding so much more enjoyable now because 
Well, if you die with the wallet, it actually stays where you died. So you can come back and collect it up. If you had like 30k in it and you wanted to get that extra 5k and you accidentally died, you can come back to it and you can collect it and nobody else can collect it. So yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. But this update overall has been really great. I actually think that this might have been one of the best updates that they've done so far because yeah, the game just looks great. The like grinding experience is going to be so much better now. But yeah, we have some pretty cool leaks for the next season, season 3D post-apocalyptic theme. We have a new leak about the map. And we also have a pretty cool like vehicle that's coming in the next week, in the next update. So yeah, I think it's like a submarine car or something like that. I haven't checked it out myself. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. It has been pretty much it for this update pretty great one as i already mentioned like several times this video but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one bye